Hey guys, it's your girl Golly Locks and I am back with another video. I wanted to come to you guys today with a different approach because 2020 has been an apocalyptic year practically and there's just been so many crazy things going on literally since the month of January up until now. And if it's not one thing, it's been another. And these things have affected people at large and across the world. It's a chaotic time for many of us. And even if we haven't directly been affected by the world's happenings over the past several months, we know at least one person that has. So today I wanted to come to you guys and give you guys some mental health tips on how to deal or how to uh, cope during chaotic times. As a behavioral health or psychiatric or mental health nurse and advocate, it's my job to uh, offer any solutions that I know about. And it's also my job to share my experience as a human being that might be able to offer some advice to people that could be beneficial. So I have a couple of things here that I wanted to share with you guys, and I hope that this helps at least one person. The first tip that I'm gonna be sharing is silence and solitude. Silence and solitude and not isolation and secrecy. In a crazy world where there's just so much stuff going on, the power of getting away and using that solitude to focus on the world around us and become aware of what is going on allows us to fester our emotions and allows us to fester our uh, ideas in a more forward thinking direction. And the first step to moving forward and getting closer to a solution is to become aware that there is one. That is what solitude and silence brings. Another tip that I'm going to offer is guided imagery and music therapy. Before I go to bed every night, YouTube has millions and millions of videos that play for hours. There are different sounds, songs, even audios with a, maybe a woman or a man talking and they tell you to close your eyes and take a deep breath and you hear wind blowing and rain falling and those sounds are scientifically proven to calm and sedate our bodies and this can be a really useful tactic to use in a chaotic time especially for my viewers that have insomnia or that have a hard time calming down when it's time to go to sleep another thing that i want to suggest is spoken word and journaling this is maybe my favorite tip for chaotic times if not one of my favorite tips there's so much power in self-expression and once you become aware of the things that you feel during a chaotic time, it's really a great idea to write those things out, uh, vent those things that you feel, whether you write it in your phone or you have a notebook, um, write out your, your thoughts in the form of journaling or even for my viewers that are into spoken word like I am, write out your thoughts in the form of poetry. There's a lot of power in using our feelings and thoughts during chaotic times and transforming them into art. Another tip for mental health is using devotionals and prayer. One thing that I love about the uh, modern world and all of these apps that we have is that everything is accessible at our hands. And I use the Holy Bible app and I utilize the plans and devotional plans that they offer. Recently, I just got done finishing a devotional plan called The Reset, and it's a great practice to use for guided spiritual practice that helps you align your thoughts in a spiritual way. There's accompanying Bible verses and new goals and prayer points. And one thing that I love about the Holy Bible app and the devotional plans is that you can share it with your friends and you can have friends or family join you along in a new devotional plan. Another amazing tip is healthy discussions. A lot of the times 
we feel better after we vent. We feel better after we discuss the things that bother us the most or discuss the things that bring us grief during chaos. And utilizing our, our voices to have meaningful discussions with people that we trust and people that are um, aware and intelligent enough to have discussions with can really be an amazing outlet for those that want to talk about their problems. If you have a friend that you can rely on or a family member, uh, don't hesitate to reach out and, and voice and discuss, hey, these are the things that have been bothering me. These are some of the issues that I'm seeing with the world or my environment or with myself. And I would love to talk to somebody about that to have someone to hold me accountable. Exercise and sleep are amazing outlets. It's again, scientifically proven that getting your blood pumping as well as eating balanced diets um, in combination can really lead to amazing outcomes, not only just physically, but mentally. And what I love to do is just jump rope. During this period, there's been a lot of like things that have been closed, such as gyms and parks. Um, but if you have a jump rope, get a jump rope and go outside. Or if you wanna dance inside your house or anything that will allow you to move around and get your blood pumping, those things are scientifically proven to improve the mental state, especially during the chaotic time. Another amazing mental health tip is sleep. Sleep is so necessary for basic human functioning and we cannot be our best selves if we don't get enough rest. But we will also never be our best selves if we're sleeping the day away. Sleep is linked to depression. Sleep is also linked to health. It's a balance. Most resources suggest that adults get 7 to 10 hours of sleep. Anywhere in between there is considered a healthy daily goal. And last but not least, meditation. Meditation is the art of blocking off distraction and becoming in sync with yourself and your inner self. And there's so many apps that, again, guide us through meditation and deep breathing, such as the Wim Hof app. I've used that for deep breathing and um, it helps to kind of reset your body into a peaceful state. Um, deep breathing is a non-pharmacologic technique that is used to promote health and apps such as um, Wim Hop or any other meditation app would be very useful in utilizing especially during chaotic times. Hopefully these tips are helpful to someone. I know that I've utilized some of these things and they're helpful to me. Thanks for watching and keep on pushing, guys. Back up, say nightmare. I have no fear. You better can show me, say, yeah, yeah. If anybody.